kind of had a almost like a head coach's role uh, to a certain extent in what we and how we recruited because I didn't have an area per se. I was kind of go in and help close and see defensive guys and um, so I, I've been in that situation and, and I feel I feel that's one of my strengths is being able to go into a home and and uh, because one thing I I think they know is is I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to try and sell something that isn't true. I'm going to lay it on the line and let them know how it is and what what's going to be expected of them and what we have to offer and and uh and that's one of my strengths and uh it's but we're we're going to we're going to be honest all along the way and be able to sell University of Nebraska f- for what it is and that's a special place and I think that's an easy sell your emotions and your passion is all get you this far do you have to temper that at all now that you're the guy well <laughs> I'm going to be who I am. You know, I'm not going to change. Bo Pelini's not going to change. But you know what? You, along the way, you learn things. You, you, you know, you, you, you learn and make mistakes and and learn some things you can do and some things you can't do. And uh, and I've grown and. Uh, I've made mistakes along the way. I'd be the first one to admit that. And uh, um, but I, I, I'll continue to to learn from them, and you know, it, it makes you better along the way. And I believe that's the case. And uh, um, but the heart and soul of who I am and what I believe in, and uh, that won't change. You know, you just have to channel it in some in different ways at times. And, and like I said, you grow and learn as a and become better as a person. And I believe that's happened. Speaking of- You know, that was a long time ago, and and uh, that was a that was a special night. Um, but uh, you know, it was it was there was a lot of emotion, and a lot of it didn't have to do with me. It was just the there was there was a lot of things going on then, and uh, with a lot of people involved, and and uh, you know what uh, what I've really uh, enjoyed is been the last couple of weeks which you know I've been able to uh, I wish I could respond to them and and or even pay attention to them but there was the amount of support and phone calls and emails and whatever else different ways of communication of the the state you know of the even the possibility of me coming back and I appreciate that because I you know I wasn't here a long time and um and I want to say this, you know, I'm in this a large reason why I'm standing here today, and I want to make sure that I give credit where credit is due is Coach Solich. And I, I, I really, I respect the job that he did. Um, and I wouldn't be standing here today if it wasn't for Frank Solich giving me the opportunity to come back into college football to such a special place and to be a defensive coordinator and, uh, you know, I think people along the way have forgotten that uh, how important he was to the University of Nebraska and what he did over a long period of time. And and uh, I want to make sure that uh, I give credit where credit is due because uh, you know sometimes I don't think he, Frank gets the credit for everything he's done for this place. Coach Osborne talks a lot about the walk-on program and how important that is. What do you, what's your take on the walk-on program and how important it is? Well, I think it's important because I think it's a very big part of what the University of Nebraska is and will continue to be. You know, it's about, uh, like I said, the unique, one of the unique aspects of this job is, and, and, the, and the university is, is everything it means to the whole state. So the more young men and the more people and the more towns you get involved, the, you have represented on your football team and in your program around the state, then the it's just going to keep building strength, and that's and obviously you you don't have enough scholarships to do that. So the more walk-ons and the more people you're able to bring in your program with that passion and that desire to be a part of the the Husker football program, the stronger you're going to be, and the stronger the state's going to be because of it. And uh, um, I believe it's extremely important and something that we're going to cultivate and, and try and. Uh, 
try and draw back upon, you know, because, uh, you know, I don't know what's happened over the last few years, and I'm not really worried about that. I, I, I'm going to say I'm really not going to talk about it because I can't speak educated on what's happened over here the last couple of years. Um, well, all I'm worried about is the here and now and where we're heading in the future. Well, new coaches often say that, you know, you're never fully prepared to be a head coach until you've been one. What, what growing pains do you expect to go through? I don't know. You'll have to ask me that in a year from now. But, uh, um, I mean, if I knew I was going to go through them, I could, you know, I probably wouldn't go through, go through you know, I probably wouldn't experience them because I'd, I'd, I'd probably, you know, address it in advance. But, uh like I said, you know, it's with anything. You, you're going to come up. Circumstances are going to present themselves, and there are going to be things that happen that you know you don't you don't necessarily aren't looking to to have to address. And uh, you know that's the way that's life. And uh, but luckily, I'm going to have a great support system and a staff and uh, people around me that that want me to be successful that that are behind me. And uh, that's the most important thing. Is uh, I've always said for a long time to to go be a head football coach. You know, it's not necessarily the place, but it's the people, and to make sure you're working for people you want to work with, people you can trust, people who you, you believe in and believe in you, and uh, that's why I believe this is a special opportunity for me because I believe I have that here at the University of Nebraska, and and uh, my job is to now is to make sure that I that uh, people look back in years and let them know that they made the right decision because uh, I'm going to give every effort of making sure that I make the people of Nebraska proud. But what kind of restrictions or challenges do you face in recruiting? Uh, mentioning you had to do that immediately coming from a school of LSU. Are you, are you strictly focused on the players that the old coaching staff uh, went after? Or, or you know, what challenges do you face in going out and getting some new guys or maybe guys you were recruiting at LSU? Well, that's going to be there, – there's a lot really that has to be done as far as recruiting, and that's evaluating the um, – you know, you know, trying to keep the, the young men that the University of Nebraska has made a commitment to up to this point and, you know, evaluating where we need to go from there. And, uh, you know, that's, that's really – it's going to be a, a process and something that's going to take um, – you know, everybody kind of getting their collective efforts together and making sure that we head this thing in the right direction. And you know, I'm, you know, there's going to be a there's a lot of work that needs to be done in the recruiting aspect of things, and uh, we'll see where it goes. Is it important to get your assistant here? Is it important to get assistant coaches in here because of that? Absolutely, there's no doubt about it. Can you go out right away tomorrow, Bo? Is that your plan? I don't know if it'll be tomorrow, but it'll be very soon.